Good morning, how are we doing? It is Saturday, finished morning sessions, one-to-ones, kickstarts, catch-ups, and wanted to just go over the conversation and a few times this week actually about overwhelm and you know, fitting everything in and like what to do if you feel overwhelmed and you're struggling to to kind of fit everything that you want to do in. And I think then that can impact your motivation as well. So because it can impact the motivation, even the thought of like, oh, like looking in a session, but like starting to think about the goals again, can actually seem too much. When you're in this position, I want you to really simplify this down and do this one thing, which is to, to pick one thing right now that if we did, would just make, help you make fewer decisions. Like this isn't about which would take you closer to your goal, which would, don't even think about that yet. Let's just lower the number of decisions that we have to make in our day because actually that means that we'll have be using less willpower. You use less willpower, you're able to make better informed, more intelligent decisions and it takes that pressure off a little bit. So let's take this scenario. Let's say you, you get up, you're straight on the go, you're going there, going there, dropping them off there, then going to work. It's like hectic, right? Take a step back and go, okay, then that means that I snack at lunch. Then that means I don't get proper lunch. I'm starving mid-afternoon. My evening meal's fine. Let's just take a step back. Can we get that breakfast in? Now, can we just make a rule this week that we're just gonna get your breakfast in? And this is something that we went over and we've got a few options. Option one, simple protein shake, done. They can make the night before, they can take it with them. Is it, is it perfect? Is it optimal? Is it as diverse as something else? No, but it's quick, easy, convenient, it's filling. One less decision they now have to make on them. Regardless of goals, anything like that, we're actually just making fewer decisions because the fewer decisions you have to make, the easier your day is going to be on that day. One less thing to do. Option two, bowl of porridge. Done. It's easy. And three overnight oats. Really simple. That's one thing. That's all they're going to do. And this is the point of this. Like, that doesn't sound huge, doesn't sound massive, but what if we know that those small habits like getting the food to breakfast can subconsciously Day. Hey Fiona, hey Teresa, I mean that some you could be subconsciously eat less from the day now. That then has enough of an effect on the next one. That's a real powerful thing. But we're not even thinking about that. Though. We're actually thinking about the fewer decisions is the benefit we want. The second example was about oh, yeah, I don't even I don't have time to look at meal plans or these great recipes I see people making, you know, that I think we should be eating, you know, from quinoa to whatever, nothing against that. But you know, when you're overwhelmed, you too much to do, it's like, oh, I just can't fit everything in. So again, we were talking about lunches here. And sometimes it's about really looking at why simple is so good. So it was like, and she's like, yeah, I sometimes get into the ha habit of, I would have like poached eggs on toast, something simple for lunch and work from home a lot, really busy. And it's like, okay, cool. Let's make your lunch poached egg on toast or baked beans on toast. I know that sounds odd, but she was like, yeah, I'm almost trying to overcomplicate it. Because we overcomplicate it, then we end up picking throughout the day, snacking on this, snacking on that. And one, that's time consuming. Two, we're actually making loads of decisions. We're thinking about food all day. It's like every time we go in the kitchen, oh, one of them, one of them, one of them. Oh, but then we get stressed that we're using like jarred sauces. We're not eating from fresh. And actually, let's take a step back and actually make it simple. Let's have good quality, let's have good meals good set meals that are going to keep us full, keep us satisfied. Whether it's jarred or not, just focus on that rather than beating ourselves up and being perfect, not having the time to home make the sauce and all this stuff. Yes, that might be ideal. But in this situation, let's just go back to that lunchtime. Okay, lunchtime, I need to make sure I have a substantial lunch and not just crackers, cheese, picking on anything and everything, which actually takes longer than just having your simple baked beans on toast, which gets your protein in, gets your fiber in, fiber, fiber in, uh, two of your five a day, done easy get some sourdough bread in there good for your gut, gut health as well we're getting into it more than we probably need to hey Chrissy hey Seth so really simple things that you can add in today and this isn't like I said it's about thinking about your why changing all of that this is taking a step back and just going you know what by doing this I get to make fewer decisions today and it's a good thing right in today's busy world go 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 so I hope that helps any questions let me know and I will see you soon take care